You, you gotta feel good. It's an incredible milestone, so 100 victories. I feel good. It's been an incredible journey. I feel good about it. You gotta feel good. But we also don't want it to stop here. Yeah. Every single week to have that motivation, it's very special. Hopefully there's many more to come. I feel good. Mr. Madison's legacy is everything we see around us here at the Red Bull Ring. Red Bull was Dietrich, and uh, Red Bull Racing carries that culture, that, that DNA that he generated, he created. His inspiration is what created all of this. Um, and that lives on today. I think if Mr. Matichitz had seen a hundred Grand Prix victories, he would have been incredibly proud, of course, but I don't think he would have been surprised. His vision for what could be achieved if you invested in the right people was absolutely clear. They would have been happy in the beginning if they could win a race, right? And now we're here, we won a hundred, so I think um, we would have had a, a nice conversation about it, uh, where I would probably want to know also you know, how um, it all started for them, what kind of dream, what they would have thought what was possible as a team, right? For sure it would have been um, yeah, a great milestone, I think, to, to celebrate with him, but unfortunately we couldn't. It's an incredible milestone, so 100 victories. I remember the first as if it was yesterday. It was a dream to drive today. Great job, Sebastian. Proud of you. Great job. We all look a little younger in the pictures from that first victory, even with the two drivers on the podium. The fact that there's many of the team members that were part of the journey at the very beginning that are still part of the team today, well over 200 people, shows that there's a great loyalty to Red Bull Racing. The overwhelming thing from Brazil 2010 is a combination of shock, disbelief and euphoria at actually winning a Constructors' Championship. The first one and two was extraordinary. Oh, it's incredible. You cannot repeat that, you know. And that last Grand Prix in Abu Dhabi. You just wait, sunshine. You just wait. Against the odds that Sebastian Vettel won to, to win the World Championship. Do this, that Meister! That was amazing. The whole weekend was amazing. All the championship deciders. <laughs> Brazil, when Seb got turned. Well, the most memorable, probably my first win. Unbelievable, Max. Unbelievable. And my first championship win, these kind of things, um, yeah, always uh, probably the most special ones. Yeah, certainly my first one in, in Baku was very special, but uh, winning Monaco to me was, yeah, one of the most special victories I've had. So, yeah, so many great moments over the years. Which just shows what continuity we have. I mean, that first win back in 2009, uh, you know, 14 years ago now, so to have still 200 and 40 members of the team still with us is, you know, is fantastic. So many faces with us from, uh, from the early days. <laughs> the people we have and just how the team operates, it's, it's a good place. I, I don't think you'll beat Red Bull as a you know, place to work, really. There are seasons when we're not on top. There are seasons when we can challenge to be at the top, but it doesn't change your resolve, your determination, your work ethic. Really? Ten seconds to your death. Nine, eight, we can No individual can do everything that happens in the factory, at the track, both environments. So you rely upon other people. And you know that your comrades have, uh, have got your back. Here? Oh, what a beautiful suit. It looks slimy, slimy. I had scrambled eggs for breakfast, actually, but I'm thinking about saying mind your own business what I had for breakfast. <laughs> yeah, nice, busy, plenty to do, lots of stuff, never boring. Nope. This is the main thing. I had victories before this in other teams, but something special about reaching 100 here. You're, I'm nearly your same height up here. <laughs> I think it goes to show what an extraordinary place this is to work and has been to work, you know. I've been here for 17 years. I've loved every second of it. And I think the common theme is it just doesn't feel like a job. It, it's way more than that to work here. I'm thinking you can put an extreme at the top and an intro at the bottom. Yeah. So you'd and, like and if we have to pull it across a little bit, we have to do that. Probably best doing it, yeah. Cheers. Just in time for the fighters. Yeah, noisy buggers.
feel good. I feel good about it. I feel good. I feel good about it. Well, the sprint weekend, we have six of them this year. It, it does put a great deal of extra stress on the teams because you have one hour of practice, so you've got a very short period of time to really work out where you are. The upside of that, of course, is that teams have to be on their A-game right from the word go. I think it does give more entertainment for the fans, but it does put a lot more pressure on the teams and the driver. Let no one stop you, you gotta feel good. Once again, great qualifying from Max, really was able to, to maximize his potential there. Checo, three over the white line, which was very unusual for him to, to make the same mistake three times, never mind twice. And of course, he'll learn from that. But he, he has a great car, he's a good racer, so he has a chance to be coming through the field while Max will try and lead from the front. Yeah, it's where it is, and now let's look forward for, for tomorrow. It's a new opportunity. Um, the, the most positive thing is that we have the pace. Still to be on pole, I think it was, uh, it was very good. And of course, you know, they're home Grand Prix as well, so that makes it uh, extra, extra nice, I think. The atmosphere is great. I think they're having a good time, and hopefully we can uh, keep it up. I feel good. I feel good about it. I feel good. Oh, it's just amazing, you know, the amount of support that we get here. What do you think you need to look out for here at the Red Bull Ring to make sure 101 happens this weekend? Check in it. We are a strong team, lots of really good people. You don't go into blame and infighting if we don't win a race. We look our wounds, we may not have the same sort of euphoric feeling. But you go on, there's another race coming and let's go and win that one. I think we've created a unique atmosphere here. You know, it's absolutely free from reprisal. Um, we find a way to say yes to everything, even if that's incredibly hard. And there's just this passion to, to, to win. Checo, the rain has just picked up a little bit. OK, Max, so all cars on it. Right, absolutely. Let's see what we get. No matter if we won the race or we finished last, we're always looking for for improvements, delivering to their maximum every single day. I think you've just got to put it behind you and work to the next one. There's always next week. We can change things next week and win next week. It got a little bit up close and personal between the two racers. They understand the rules of engagement. Don't crash into your teammate. Max was ever dominant in those changing conditions. And there was actually a good battle across the field that shows that Formula One's in a good place right now. OK, well done, Max. Well done, mate. That was very well executed. Well done. Yeah, good race. Well done, Checo. Good recovery there. It was always going to be quite a tough one, you know, 24 laps on, on, um, on an inter tie so when the track is drying, but I think we looked after them quite well. Yeah, it's a, a great team result. I think we managed to have a, a great race and uh, a great finish for the team. Myself, I had a bad start, but then, uh, yeah, I was with two heels on the cross. But it's all good, we've spoken about it, and uh, at the end of the day, it's a great team result. Yeah, I think the best result the team can hope for today with uh, Max off pole position is to, of course, secure a, a, a lights to flag victory. For Checo, it's about damage limitation. Maybe the nature of this racetrack and being quite close on lap time might make it difficult for him to get a podium, but that has to be his goal. Yeah, it's incredible to see the Orange Army come out in force. This racetrack has just grown in popularity, especially during the time that Max has grown in uh, his success to be a double world champion. And they are partying like crazy all weekend. There's such an enthusiasm and energy, so for Max to win here would be an incredible feeling. Well, Dietrich was such a passionate guy about the sport and, and he just genuinely cared and, you know, you walk into the Red Bull ring now and you, you feel his presence everywhere. Um, you know, the facility he created, the attention to detail is phenomenal and, and he, above all, was just a fan of motorsport and, and I felt very privileged that they uh, entrusted me to become the first team principal. And I think the common theme is it just doesn't feel like a job, it, it's way more than that to work here. I think it's a lot of the people really and 
everyone's in a great place. And when we, you know, especially when we're winning, it's just you just go from one race to the next, and the spirits are always high. And everyone wants the same goal, it's, which you know keeps everyone in a good place. Yeah, this pace is awesome. So bring you the podium. Max, uh, just make sure you have some uh, tyres left for the end of the race. Oh, you can also do a pit stop. You've got 24 seconds in the lead. Okay, box and pick up burn then, Max. It's only after the race that Jonathan said that's 100 victories and you've been to all of them. I thought, yeah, must have done. That, uh, I believe, is the full sweep. Classy, Max. Very, very classy. Well done, mate. Okay, back on the podium. Well done, Checo. That was a fantastic recovery drive. Well done, mate. Yeah, good recovery, guys. Well done. Yeah, that was an amazing race, guys. The car was on fire. Really, really good. And uh, great pit stop, too. For sure, you know, trying to you know, keep all the people together for as long as possible to create this kind of success is, is very important. Every single weekend, you know, to, to, to have that motivation, it's very special. Dietrich loved the cars, he loved the drivers, and we miss him greatly, but you know, his presence is still here, his spirit lives on. We carry on his legacy, what he, what he has built with, with the two teams in Formula One. And uh, hopefully, uh, you know, he's proud looking down on what we're achieving so far.